Hey, welcome back to our channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I get a lot of questions online, especially on my Facebook and on my Instagram and Twitter about how I structure training sessions with my dogs. And the answer is really, really short, really fun. Um, so that what we're doing is always a game. That's my goal for my dogs is for any time we're training for them to think we're playing a fun game because we are. Uh, so I don't do long drills. I don't like go and practice healing for 20 minutes outside. I will practice healing for seconds at a time on our walk. Um, we'll do a few, you know, rally positions, that kind of thing. And then we'll, we'll, we'll just keep playing around. That's really my goal with my dogs. And one of the ways that I keep track of what I do is through bullet journaling. Bullet journaling has completely changed the way that I structure training with my dogs or more specifically, it's changed my ability to keep track of what's happening training my dog. So I actually started bullet journaling uh, for training when my youngest dog, Sirius, was recovering from her knee surgery and we were in physical therapy with her. And I started putting in, she had a bunch of exercises that she needed to do at home. Uh, rehabbing was kind of a part to full-time job for me for well, working with her and so I started creating bullet journal pages in my this was the um Hufflepuff who's a Hufflepuff I'm a Hufflepuff uh this was my to-do list um notebook that I kept at the time where I would put what I was working on to-do lists shopping lists as well as outlining projects um like book projects magazines etc and so I started just putting in mixed into that um bullet journals um, of the exercises she needed to do every day so that I could keep track of it for myself because it was lots of different things, repetitions of things. We needed to do, you know, eight sessions of backups. We needed to do different stretches. We needed to do sit to stands a certain number of times a day, like num tunnels, lots of things, right? And so it was hard to keep track of. Uh, but this let me, anytime I did it, I just put a check down and I would set it up for like the entire week so that I would just know what I needed to get done with her. And it was so helpful. And after she recovered, I started to realize it's actually something I can incorporate into my daily dog life um, so that I can keep track of the skills that I'm working on with the dogs. I also did it again um, with my dog Charlotte when she was recovering from her herniated disc, which you probably saw some of those videos if you haven't yet, they're on my channel. Um, and so I started making similar bullet journals for her rehab process. And since we finished that, I have sort of done bits and pieces of bullet journaling for training in whatever notebook I'm using at the time to track my writing work, but I haven't been super consistent about um, having a dedicated notebook. It will just be mixed in with my um, general to-do list. This is my current to-do list um, and outlining notebook that I work on um, for book and magazine deadlines and things like that. And intermixed, I'll have training logs. Um, but what I realized is it would actually be really helpful and cool for me to have one notebook that I use every day, um, separate from my planner, separate from my notebook of, you know, my outlining notebook that is just my training log. Uh, and I think it'll be cool to be able to have right now while I'm working on it, but also to be able to look back on and track progress and track um, consistency for me, um, training, that kind of thing. So this all happened to coincide with a moment that I made a total Disney store haul. Um, if you don't know, I'm a total Disney fanatic. I'm also a dog fanatic and they have a whole Disney dog collection. I have the party dress, I have the jacket, I have the keychain, and now I have all the office supplies. Um, this one's really cool. I did a whole haul on my other channel, but it's like sticky notes and pens and it's just fantastic. This is mostly for my planner, but the other thing I got and it came with, um, it came with a bunch of different Disney dog bookmarks. Um, I don't know where the third, the third one is in a book that's in the other room. It came with three of those. Um, and then it came with three notebooks. It has their Disney dog print and they're just super cute inside. Uh, that one and this one. And 
this one. And I decided that I was going to take one of them, specifically this one, it's not easy being perfect, uh, and use it as my training log for my two youngest dogs um, who are in active, who I'm doing more sport training with that I do active stuff with. Um, my 17 year old gets to live a life of retirement. He plays trick training when he wants to, when he comes over, when I'm working with the girls, he gets to participate, but I don't have like structured training goals with him in the same way I do with the girls. So I thought I would use this one to create a bullet journal, uh, training log that I can update every week, uh, with what I'm working on. And then I'll, by the end of it, I'll have, it will take me almost a year to use this up. I believe I think it's like 50 pages. Uh, so if I'm doing a week, um, per page, I guess it would be almost a year. I may do two pages is kind of my thought right now. This is, I just did this, this, uh, lineup off camera. Uh, I'll show you filling it out. I might leave this page for notes moving forward, or maybe I'm going to see how this week goes, or I just left a front page to be able to make notes. in. I am tempted to leave a page for notes every week, but I'm not sure I'll make use of it. So that will be a little bit of a work in progress, but let's get this filled out. I have that, just I drew the lines on with a ruler. Um, and then I have just sort of some notes for myself of things I want to put into the bullet journal. So let's get that set up. And so the things that are gonna go in the bullet journal are skills that I'm working with the dogs on that are tricks that I want to work on, rally obedience skills that I want to work on, most are things that I've come up with um, from my training plans. I'm also just got this new book in the mail. I haven't had the chance to read it yet, but I'm really excited to uh, Awesome Obedience. And I saw uh, her teach at Clicker Expo, it's a brand new book that just came out, uh, Positive Reinforcement Clicker Training Competition Obedience book. Saw her teach at Clicker Expo this past winter and she was great. So I got the book. I'm looking forward to checking it out and I'm hoping that I can incorporate some of the training exercises in this book into future weeks bullet journals. I also, I read tons of dog training books. I also got When Pigs Fly, which is not a new book, but I've never read it somehow. So I'm looking forward to reading this. It came in from the library last night. We will see um, what it, oh my God, there's a Newfoundland. That always makes me happy. Um, we will see if any of those skills end up making it into future weeks bullet journals, but let's get, yes. So the thing I love about using bullet journaling as a format to structure my dog training is um, that it lets me have a lot of flexibility to create personalized plans for what I want to be working on. And it also um, allows me to adjust what those plans look like. So the way I'm gonna approach it is I'm gonna put skills across the top and then down I'm going to have um, check boxes for each of the girls each day of the week. So I am going to, some of these are skills, some of these are sort of other things. So I'm gonna put walk, um, which is part of rehab, long-term rehab for both the girls and long-term conditioning for both the girls. It's not really training, but I'm gonna put healing. Going to put sequences. So this is uh, for rally, so practicing different little sequences together. I don't do a full course worth of sequences, but I try to do a couple uh, with them. Conditioning. And this with our exercises and skills that are from our sports rehab um, veterinarian for both the girls. Uh, I am right now trying to teach orbit, which is a trick where the dog goes backwards around you, which I realized somehow I'd never taught either of the girls. So Sirius is learning that one. I'm not sure that Charlotte will learn that one, um, depending on how her back is. She's medically cleared to do it, but uh, dun, dun, dun. we're going to do basketball. It is a favorite trick of Charlotte for sure, and I am work and both the girls know it. But I'm working on uh, just more basketball skills with them, uh, and wanting to do more with our shopping cart. Got this really cute trick prop, 
and I want, they both can push it, uh, and I want to do more with putting things in it, taking things out of it, and then pushing it. Um, and scent, doing some scent work games. And that looks like what's gonna fit for this week. For future weeks, I might combine healing and sequences together, or I might not, um, but that works. Oh, I was gonna put ring toss too. Mm. Well, let's put it here. We have a little spot. Ring toss. It's a trick that Charlotte knows that Sirius does not know. So that one's kind of, I would not do that again in the future weeks, but we'll see how this goes. So I picked two different colors of pens. This one is for Charlotte. This one is for Sirius that we're going to go down. So I'm going to do Monday. See, and we're gonna go Monday S for serious. Can I? So then we're gonna do Tuesday. I'm just gonna start abbreviating actually lately. See, then we will do Tuesday S, Wednesday C. S and I think this is going to work really well to be able to keep track for myself of what we're working on. And I think in future weeks, what will save me space will be that I don't need to make the lines go all the way down. And this is what I love about this kind of bullet journal uh, format is you can adjust it. So in future weeks, I'm not going to put lines down here and I'll use this as my notes section. And I will use it as my notes section this week as well, but it'll just be a little harder to see. Um, right. So I don't need to use a separate page for notes. That's plenty of notes for me to record how training went that week with the girls. So then I'm going to fill in just so you get a sense of what we did. So it is. Wednesday right now so <clears throat> Monday and this doesn't need to be in the, their colors for filling it in. In fact I won't just to make it easier so uh, Charlotte went for a walk on Monday. Sirius went for two walks on Monday which is part of her long-term um, conditioning. Uh, I did work on Keeling on Monday with Sirius. Uh, conditioning both the girls we did some shopping cart and we didn't do anything else. Uh, Tuesday, Charlotte went on a walk. Sirius went on two walks. We did healing. We did some sequencing. Um, and I think that's all we did yesterday. I was on a bunch of deadlines. So today we did a walk in the morning and we haven't done our series and I haven't had our second walk yet, which is pending if it is pouring rain. Um, and the rest of our training is left. So we will hopefully get more of this filled in as the day goes on. And I'm just going to highlight this is the start of the week. Pull up a calendar and I'll figure out what day Sunday is. I should know this. Do I? No. No, I do not. Uh, Sunday is the 24th. So, no. Yes. Monday through... Oh, that's through Saturday. Through the 25th. Okay. Monday through... August 19th through 25th, 2019. Because ideally, I'm going to fill up this whole thing with training notes 
and then I'll be able to look back and see what we did. And what I love about this format is that you can put anything that you and your dog are working on. It can be sports skills, it can be trick skills, it can be behavioral things, potty training, anything you're working on. We did a potty chart very, we did a sticker chart actually when Sirius was a very little puppy who came home um, <clears throat> and we were working on potty training. We had a sticker chart so we knew every day she didn't have any accidents in the house. Um, so I love this as a format though for tracking any kind of training that you and your dogs are working on. It really lets you follow what you, the dogs are doing, how your own consistency is, 